Welcome to our video on Kirchhoff's Current Law. Today, we will dive deep into this fundamental principle of electrical circuits and demonstrate its application using a circuit simulator. Kirchhoff's Current Law, commonly referred to as KCL, is an essential concept in circuit analysis. It is named after Gustav Kirchhoff, a German physicist who formulated a set of laws that govern the behavior of electric circuits. KCL specifically states that the algebraic sum of currents entering and exiting a node in an electrical circuit is always zero. In simpler terms, the total current flowing into a node is equal to the total current flowing out of that node. This principle is based on the fundamental law of conservation of charge, which ensures the charge is neither created nor destroyed within a circuit. To gain a better understanding of Kirchhoff's current law, let's examine a specific circuit configuration using our circuit simulator. In this setup, we have a 10 ampere current source connected to a resistor, denoted as R1, which has a value of 1 kOhm. R1 is connected in series with two parallel variable resistors, R2 and R3. The resistance values of R2 and R3 can be adjusted within the simulator and range from 100 to 1000 ohms. For simplicity, let's denote the currents through R1, R2, and R3 as I1, I2, and I3, respectively. Now, let's focus on the node where R1, R2, and R3 are connected. According to Kirchhoff's current law, the sum of currents entering and exiting any node must be zero. In our circuit, this means that the current I1 from the 10 ampere source will split into two separate currents, I2 flowing through R2 and I3 flowing through R3. To demonstrate Kirchhoff's current law in action, we can utilize the circuit simulator to gradually vary the resistance values of R2 and R3. As we change these resistances, it becomes apparent that the sum of currents I2 and I3 always remains equal to I1. Regardless of the specific resistance values, the total current entering the node, I1, will always equal the total current exiting the node, I2 plus I3. This observation reinforces the validity of Kirchhoff's current law, as it consistently upholds the principle of charge conservation. By effectively applying Kirchhoff's current law, we gain the ability to determine the distribution of currents within a circuit. This is crucial for analyzing and solving complex electrical circuits, as it allows us to understand how current flows through different elements and branches of the circuit. By examining the current flow, we can gain valuable insights into the behavior and performance of the circuit. In summary, Kirchhoff's current law is a fundamental principle in circuit analysis. It states that the total current entering a node in a circuit is equal to the total current exiting the node. By demonstrating this law using our circuit simulator, we have observed the relationship between currents I1, I2, and I3, and how they are affected by changes in resistance. The sum of currents I2 and I3 always equals the current I1, validating the application of Kirchhoff's current law. I hope this comprehensive explanation has provided you with a thorough understanding of Kirchhoff's current law. Don't hesitate to explore and experiment with the circuit simulator to deepen your knowledge. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more captivating videos on electrical principles.